Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss rapid pyrogen test using the XFORM software. So we'll start the experiment. We'll click here. First we'll see the introduction part. The rapid pyrogen test is an in vivo test to detect the pyrogen qualitatively. Rabbit have a similar pyrogen tolerance to human. So by observing the change in the body temperature in rabbit, it is possible to make a determination of the presence of pyrogen. As we, as we all aware of that, uh, every pharmaceutical, parental pharmaceutical formulation should be free from pyrogen because if any parental formulation has pyrogen in it, it will lead to elevate the body temperature lead to fever and in severe cases it can cause the shock also. This method can detect non-bacterial endotoxin pyrogen as well as bacterial endotoxin. So before start with the experiment first we will see some precautions. So what are the different precautions? So the rabbit must be healthy and mature. New Zealand or Belgium white rabbits are most, mostly used. Either sex may be used but the males are preferred must be individually housed between 20 to 23 degrees centigrade. The, the temperature should not vary more than plus minus 3 degrees centigrade. The atmosphere should be free from disturbances which likely to excite the animal. The equipment and material used in the test which include glassware, syringe, needle must be made free from pyrogen by heating at 250 degrees centigrade for not less than 30 minutes or any suitable method. Retaining boxes should be comfortable for the rabbit as much as possible and the thermometer basically we use should be inserted in the standardized position in the rectum and the precision should be made is plus minus 0.1 degrees centigrade. So now we'll see the experiment. So these are the some instruction that we need to follow. So animal are divided into two group. One is the vehicle treated group. Another is a drug treated group containing three rabbit in each group. Administered one group with a drug to be tested and other with a vehicle by the intravenous route. The temperature of each animal is recorded with a telethermometer. So now we'll see how to perform this experiment. These are the six rabbit. Randomly we'll select any one of the rabbit and we'll administer. So basically how the administration is done. The administration is done by intravenous route. So we'll clean the uh, designed, uh, we, we clean the area. Okay, we disinfect the area and then you can see here. This is the vein through which we'll administer the uh, drug to be tested. So in case of the vehicle treated, we administered vehicle whereas in case of the drug treated we will administer drug to be tested. So you can see here the drug is administered to the animal and then we will keep the animal accordingly into their respective cages. Now we will select, randomly select any one animal and then after 30 minutes of administration we will check the temperature. So basically the thermometer is used, the rectal thermometer is used and it is inserted into the rectum and will uh, check the temperature. So you can see here in case of the first rabbit the temperature came here is 38.21. Now we will take the another rabbit. This is the rabbit number 3. I have randomly selected the rabbit. Again insert the rectal thermometer into the rectum of the test animal and then read the temperature after a sufficient period of time. So you will get here is 38.89. Then we will take the another rabbit. The same procedure will follow. We will use the rectal thermometer and we will check the temperature. So now the temperature will come here as 38.5. Now this is done with our vehicle treated animal. Now we will randomly select any one animal from the drug treated group. So I have selected the rabbit number 2. Again with the same procedure we will follow and we will check the temperature by using the rectal thermometer. Now the temperature came here is 39.1. Now the second rabbit again the next rabbit will use. Uh, this is the rabbit number 3. You can see here this is the rabbit number 3. Again we will check the temperature 
and it will come here as 39.5 now the next rabbit will select the last one this is the rabbit number 1 randomly i have selected now i'll check the temperature using the rectal thermometer now the temperature came here is 38.8 now we have done with the measurements of the temperature now we'll see the observation so this is the observation vehicle treated and drug treated ideally in this experiment we have purposely added the pyrogen in it so this is the pyrogen added uh, we can say the group so in case of the rabbit 1 the vehicle treated rabbit 1 the body temperature uh, came here is 38.21 whereas in drug treated it will came here as 38.8 so when we take the difference it will come here as 0.59 then in case of the rabbit 2 the rabbit 2 from the vehicle treated group the body temperature came here is 38.5 whereas in case of the drug treated group the rabbit number 2 body temperature came is 39.1 so when we take the difference of it it will come here as 0.60 now the rabbit number 3 when we take the difference it will come here as 0.61 here we have simply uh, added and taken the uh, total of it so ideally the test is carried out on a group of 3 rabbit and if two or three rabbits show the individual rise of 0.6 degree or or more or above the respective control temperature the test shall be considered as positive so you can see here that rabbit number 2 and rabbit number 3 the temperature come here is the temperature came here is 0.60 0.69 so we'll see the conclusion of it so as the rise in body temperature of each rabbit is more than 0.6 so it shows that the test sample is not pyrogen free and uh, ideally we have taken the pyrogen added sample but uh, if you have a unknown sample that time also you can check so if there is a rise in body temperature is more than 0 it is close to a more than 0.6 that means the sample is not a pyrogen free So this is all about the experiment thank you